A little over a year ago, I did a comparison of this 1997 Barracuda mountain bike with my modern full suspension bike. My conclusion in the end is that out of all of the advancements in bike tech over the last 20 years, the only thing I absolutely cannot live without today is a dropper seat post. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any dropper to fit my outdated 26.8 millimeter seat tube. Determined to give this old girl some trail time, I stumbled upon a cheap, simple dropper that I could modify to make work. I know this is a bad idea, but that's never stopped me before. Speaking of bad ideas, you'll notice during this video that all of the gears are gone and it's now a single speed. If you're curious, here's a link to how I did it. Alright, let's get a dropper seat post on this beast. So anytime you're going to be fitting a dropper post to a bike, there's two things you want to consider. One, do you have enough insertion in the seat tube in order to be able to get the post fully inserted? out of here. And the second thing is, when the seat post is installed in the fully extended position, are you going to be able to get a proper seat height? Uh, so in this case, if I had a, a 150 or a 170 mil dropper, the seat would be too high. So let's take a look at the post I've got and to see if it's going to work out. So here's the seat post. And this is the seat height that I want to have it at when it's fully extended. Right now, this is fully extended, so you can see that uh, it will fit um, on, the, on the top, and it inserts to here, and I'm good to about here. So uh, as far as the length goes, uh, this is gonna be perfect. Now we just need to address the fact that it's a little too big. There's quite a few out there that now come in the 27.2 millimeter diameter, but this is by far the cheapest one I could find that was the dimensions I needed. And since I have no idea whether this is gonna work, um, I, I didn't wanna spend more than I had to. So this has got a uh, cable actuated and coil spring uh, driven uh, three position dropper. So it's either fully extended, fully retracted, or right in the middle. And that's fine with me because I'm either gonna have it in you know all the way out or all the way in. Uh, I really don't use my other seat posts in the infinite uh, adjustability range anyway. So let's take a look at how this is put together and see what we need to do. All right, so here I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Uh, I pulled the spring out and you'll notice that on the front and back edge there's a slight groove and that's just so that the, uh, the dropper post itself uh, won't rotate uh, when it's moving up and down. So let's take a look at the exact dimensions on this to see what we need to do. So I know this might be a really, really, really bad idea, but let me explain to you what we've got. Uh, the current seat post from here all the way across is 27.1 millimeters. What I needed to get it down to is 26.7. And this is drawn absolutely to scale, so you can see how much needs to come off. Essentially, 0.2 millimeters needs to come off the, the whole uh, circumference of the seat post. And I'm only gonna remove it from the portion that's gonna be inserted inside the seat post. I was actually surprised, it seems like it's almost overbuilt. The wall thickness is 2.37 millimeters, and once I reduce it down, it'll be 2.17. Uh, the only potential weak parts are where this groove is, um, and right now, the, the thickness here is uh, the same thickness of the original uh, seat post that's on the bike. So 1.75 millimeters, it'll be uh, 1.55 once it's done. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about how unsafe this is and I shouldn't ever do it, but it's either do this or not ride the bike. Um, I really have gotten so spoiled by uh, the dropper post that it's almost unbearable uh, to do anything uh, with that seat post all the way up unless I'm climbing a hill. So to put this perspective of what 0.2 millimeters looks like, it is 
the equivalent of less than three pieces of notebook paper. It's not as buttery smooth as a high-end dropper, but it works. Press the lever and be ready for a healthy launch of your saddle. This bike has more sentimental value to me than it will ever be worth in dollars. But with this problem solved, I am now reasonably free to throw an unreasonable amount of time and resources into this bike because even though she will never perform like a new shiny machine from today, neither will I. But she loves me just the same. Please comment if you have questions and if you like this, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're like me and refuse to act your age, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.